Hello, hello. What's going on, everybody? I got a cool new uh, little app review. Some something, some sort of a promotion, I guess you could call it. Basically, um, what I'm showing off here is a molar mass calculator app. And so, you may or may not know what this is or what it does. Basically, it is an application that calculates molar masses. Well, if you don't know what molar masses are, they're used in chemistry. If you're in chemistry, if you're a student, if you're, if that's your profession, if you're whatever, you'll know plenty about molar masses and you'll know they're a pain in your butt. And so, this is a pretty sweet app that will actually calculate the molar mass of pretty much any compound for you really simply. So, I'm going to show it off a little bit, maybe persuade you into buying it. So, here it is. It's just a mass calc app. Open it up and check it out. So it looks pretty similar to the regular iPhone calculator. It's got like a display and stuff. But this one actually has all the elements from the periodic table in it. So if you check it out, I can pick a compound here. And there's a little information section if you can't figure out how to use it. But it's pretty simple, I think. So pick a compound. Let's say I want sodium hydroxide, NaOH. You just click sodium click the hydroxide ion, and bingo, it tells you it's molar mass to six sig figs. So six significant figures is more than enough for pretty much any use. I mean, uh, that's a lot. So it shouldn't be limiting um, because of precision or accuracy, which is cool. And so, you know, clear it out, do something else. What if I want, mm, I don't know, I can't even think of anything. How about sodium bromide, NABR. There you go, it tells you 102.89 grams per mole. And you can do this with anything. I could do a more complicated ion like acetic acid, CH3, CO2, CO2H. There's acetic acid, um, 60.05 grams per mole. So it's pretty cool. I mean, it does everything. It has all the heavier ions too. It doesn't have any of the undiscovereds yet, but those would be stupid to do a chemical compound with anyway. So, yeah, let's say you would like, um, I don't know, uranium oxide, UOO270, or you can do also do UO2, and it'll all come out to be the same, see? So it's got, for common ions, there's not many yet, because really ra waiting on requests for what people say, what they use the most. Um, really the only one came to mind was sodium hydroxide, but whatever. Um, it's got common ions, it has the hydroxide ion, water, that's just a common compound to use a lot, O2, so I mean, you want CO2, there you go, that's definitely the correct mass. So yeah, it's pretty cool, check it out, it's only 99 cents in the App Store, which is well worth your money, it would be money well spent, I can guarantee you. And I'm sure you probably already know there aren't many apps like this, so definitely check it out, see what you think. Um, leave comments about it here, leave reviews in the App Store, mm -hmm. leave feedback, you know, email the developer, whatever. Talk to you guys later.